Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Max DePaul. I'm very grateful to be connecting with you today. It is a Wednesday hump day, and it is the 22nd of August. Well, we have great news. We survived the solar eclipse. So welcome to the next day. The world did not fall apart. However, there was a tremendous, tremendous amount of emotional irritation that I noticed all day yesterday. It was really wreaking havoc with a lot of people. So uh, you may be one of those that was impacted. Some people, they uh, were in a very loving emotional place. Some people were in a very unpleasant emotional place. All of us will have a different experience um, you know, with these frequencies and energies as they continue to move through our universe and as they continue to bring Mother Earth into higher layers of uh, frequencies. And so thank you all for joining today. For those that are new, <clears throat> just scrolling through, wondering what this is about. Uh, my name is Master Paul. I'm a certified master teacher from the Tao Academy. Uh, trained in this about 10 years, which gives me that, uh, that title. Basically, it says that I am very good at this subject matter. And so today we're focusing on spiritual practices for boosting your energy. Um, even today, I found myself uh, a little bit drained from all of the energetics of yesterday. So the first spiritual practice I did is I took a nap. So I'm, I'm not opposed to common sense things as well, uh, but I feel much more uh, refreshed even with that one hour nap that I took. And so uh, I also invite you, aside from the spiritual practices that I will share today, to apply common sense. Um, there are many things that drain our frequencies, our energies. Some of them are others, people. Some of them are our lack of taking care of our body well. And some of them are simply directly related to blockages in our energy centers. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on today, okay? So that's what you can expect. I hope you're able to stick around. If you're not, I invite you to subscribe and friend me. And, uh, and then I will send you the uh, information afterwards then you can come back to my Facebook page and watch the recordings as they're all saved. I'm here Monday through Thursday. I uh, have been doing this for over a year, and I teach all things soul. So I hope that you're able to, uh, to stick around and enjoy uh, all of the uh, wisdom that I'll be sharing today and each and every Monday through Thursday. So we'll stop and acknowledge now everybody who has joined us. Welcome to uh, Jessica. Welcome to Janice Crosby Smith. Uh, welcome also to Becky Lafa, Jessica, if your little girl Chloe is there and your mom is there, welcome to both of them. <coughs> also, welcome to LaRonda, and hi, Tina. Aloha, Suki Singh, welcome, Isabel Rice. Uh, welcome also to Don Robinson and uh, Bonnie Mandeville, welcome, aloha. Welcome, Madre, and also to Chris Ezekiel. Welcome, uh, Vanessa Nyson and Odelia. Aloha, Christina Barker. Welcome also to Angie Taylor and Angie Kenny. Welcome to Patricia uh, Johnson, Deborah Anderson. Aloha, Diane Powers. Welcome, Susan Birchmore. And also, aloha to Mandy Berlin, Kristen Strecken, and Kristen Rojas. Welcome to both. Welcome also to Kim Morrison. And anybody else, if I missed your name, please forgive me. Um, one of the things, and when I'm working on a telephone, the uh, the eye of the phone is close to the to the people that are coming in, so I, I don't feel like I'm looking away necessarily to say hello to you. But here on the, the computer, I have to actually look off to the right of the screen to see who's coming in. So, so thank you for everybody for joining today. Um, most all of us are going to have some level or layer of energy blockage. And so regardless of if you have uh, the necessity for these practices, there will be at some point in time when you will appreciate them and need them. And of course, there is always now. And if you're not in need of uh, additional energy, what happens is these actually create purity in your vessel when you do some of these practices. So <clears throat> we're gonna start as we always do with the live streams by chanting love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, harmony is a mantra. 
uh, for everybody new or everybody new that comes in and watches this later. And it is actually chanted in 43 languages in six different continents. You can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. I use it each and every time I do a live stream to help us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So we will do that first. So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is a mudra, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains pointed up towards heaven. And where you're at, close your eyes. If you are new, or even if you're not, and you'd like to receive a blessing, make a request. I will chant two rounds today, Love, Peace, and Harmony, <clears throat> in English, in Mandarin Chinese, and in Soul Song, and I will chant it twice. So let us first connect to invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao source, all beings of light, spiritual mothers and fathers, including angels and healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, we love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all. Ask most humbly, most sincerely, for your presence today. We ask that you come to sit in our heart centers. And as we do the practice today for empowering, strengthening, awakening with spiritual channel practice, we ask that you please bless each and every one of us for the area we focus on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do the soul of our energy body, all of the energy meridians, is the soul of our chakras and energy points in our body. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to release energetic blockages. Do a good job. Thank you. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony. We love you, we honor you, we appreciate you. We ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony, that you please turn on. <clears throat> please bless each and every one of us to join heart to heart, soul to soul. Also bless us in this spiritual practice to boost our energies. We are very grateful. Thank you. We invite all souls in all universes to join with us and chant with us at this time. So let us chant together. Again, for those that are new, this is a blessing. Uh, for those that uh, would like to chant with me, please, you're welcome to. Let us begin. Lula, <coughs> Lula, 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 I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, 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 why wash in early? Oh, I turn and lay. Only here on her mushroom. Some I ping on the same. 
，相爱比诺乐心。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining today. Uh, we have a few more people join. So welcome to Kim Morrison. Welcome Elizabeth. Aloha to Lisa Zarniak. Welcome Julia. Welcome also to uh, Michelle Jamie Dodd. And welcome also to John Campos. Aloha. Uh, Fat. Chuan Kak, Chuan Kak Lang. Hopefully I didn't destroy it too much. Welcome also to Johnny Mambode. Welcome Lisa. Welcome Kate Nicole, aloha Sarah MacArthur, uh, welcome to Brenda Hudson, and welcome also to Marikata Zinova. I think that's everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. Today I'm operating on my desktop, and uh, I seem to notice a difference when I'm operating off my phone or off my desktop. The, um, the how do I put it, the people that Facebook grabs and notifies changes. I think when you're on a cell phone, they know that and they uh, grab new folks or different folks. It's interesting to watch how Facebook operates. Regardless, you are the perfect people to be here. I'm very honored and grateful. <coughs> Today is on spiritual practices for boosting your energy. Now, uh, show of hands, how many people are familiar with seven chakras, know that you have them, and the energy meridian system of the body. My guess is fully 80 to 90% of you are familiar with these aspects of the human vessel. I'm always surprised that in just regular day life, I'll ask people, do you know what the energy meridian system is? You know where people put acupuncture needles? They say, never heard of it. Very shocking actually that very few people uh, in everyday life know about the energy meridian system. More people actually have heard of chakras, but they don't really know what it is. There are also uh, energy centers, which um, some of them are not necessarily directly related to your physical body energy, such as the third eye. It is an energy center. There are other ones that few people know about that have been released to humanity. Ones like the Kundal, which is your oil lamp in your lower part of your body. <coughs> uh, the Wei Lu and the Hui In. These are also energy centers but do not have a direct association to your uh, foundational energy. They have other associations to the awakening of your spiritual body. So today we're gonna to be focusing on specific energy centers that will assist you with uh, boosting your whole body energy. <clears throat> and we're gonna focus on uh, several chakras and an energy center. So we're gonna focus on chakra one, two, and three, and we're gonna focus on the kundalini. But I'm also going to add a practice. We're gonna do a lot today, okay? This won't be a lot of talking, this will be a lot of practice. And so when we do these practices, I want you to first check your energy levels, okay? So just kind of, you know, you know yourself. Do it get gauged on a good high energy day, that's your 10. Then look at your day when you're just no juice whatsoever. You're just like dragging yourself from A to B. That's a zero. Where are you at on that scale? I don't need to know. You need to know so that you can check at the end of the practices. So the um, chakras, <clears throat> and you'll learn a lot more in depth uh, if, you, if you come to my uh, Awakened Spiritual Channels program. Uh, uh, which is September 3rd. If you haven't registered already, then please register. Um, um, the, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But anyway, you'll see the links pop up in um, Kristen's timeline in just a minute here. So the first, second, and third chakras are actually uh, have a great deal of association to your whole body energy. The first chakra, 
is, is also referred to in Mandarin Chinese as the Hui Di Lun, which means gear at the bottom of the sea. And uh, it is very little attention is actually given to the first chakra, um, but it is actually one of the most important because when it's turning, uh, think of it as the big cog, it turns the smaller cogs. So that's one of them we'll focus on today. The second chakra is also known as the lower Don Tian. We're going to include that one today. <clears throat> it is, the first one by the way, is located uh, just above the base of your torso. If you, if you visualize the spot between your anus and your genitals, there's a point right in the middle called your, your perineum. It's also an acupuncture point there, the Hui Yin acupuncture point. And uh, just above that, inside the torso of your body, is the area of your first chakra. It's about a fist-sized uh, energy center or chakra. And straight up above that, approximately an uh, inch and a half below your belly button center of your body, is your lower Dan, Dan Tian, also known as second chakra. Uh, uh, above that, going up another inch and a half, directly behind your belly button, is your third chakra, third energy center. Now, the reason we're going to be focusing on these, as well as your entire lower abdomen, which is termed your Zhong, Z-H-O-N-G. Zhong, repeat after me. Zhong, again, Zhong, Zhong. The reason we're going to focus on these areas is because they directly impact a great deal of energy and matter in the lower part of the human body. The energy and matter in your body is either moving or not moving. If it's moving, you have a pure flow, pure chi, pure energy. In traditional Chinese medicine, their, uh, their perspective uh, and when it comes to health in the medical uh, arena is when chi flows, blood flows. Blood is a matter, so energy moves the matter. So when we do these practices, what are we in essence moving? We're moving the energy, okay? Uh, but in order to move the energy, we employ the four powers. The four powers are body power, where you place your hands is where energy goes. Sound power, I'm going to introduce a mantra to you today, which uh, has a sound for these chakras and the jong. <clears throat> and when we chant this mantra, it will bring a frequency and a vibration to that area. When you place your hands where I guide you to place them, it will bring a frequency and vibration to that area. So body power, sound power. Mind power, mind power, creative visualization. What does it do? It brings a frequency and vibration to the area, okay? What you focus on is what you bring into manifestation. The fourth power is soul power. Soul power is very, very important. It is the most important of the four powers. Soul power is inner souls and outer souls. I just spoke about the three chakras. I'm speaking about the jhon, the lower area of the body. And each of them have a soul. Some of you, that might be new information, might be like, really? I thought only humans and maybe animals had souls. Everything has a spark of creator in it. Everything has a soul. The teachings are that when you connect to the soul, you can transform it a hundred, a thousand times faster than just by ignoring it, not giving it attention. I have witnessed and have offered blessings for people's body parts, knees or neck, back, whatever, uh, and I had them do a practice where they just tried to bring healing to themselves by putting their hands in certain positions. Then I asked them to talk to the soul of that knee or that shoulder. And in doing so, they felt a dramatic difference, a measurable difference just by connecting. Soul power, very, very important. So we're going to employ all four powers today in all of these energy practices. Uh, the reason I'm talking a little faster is because I want to make sure we have enough time for the practices that I have in mind. <clears throat> the Zhong, Z-H-O-N-G. The Zhong is uh, the core of the body. According to the wisdom that my teacher, Master Shah, teaches, it represents an area of your body. So imagine drawing an, a line from your belly button to the center of your body, okay? And it goes straight to the back, now go back to the center of your body and draw it straight down to the base of your torso. So you've got the center of your body from 
the center to your a dip in your back and from the center down to your torso. Now draw a big circle onto the back half of the body, covering the lower half of the spine, parts of the kidneys, all the lower body torso. This is area is referred to as your jong. There are many sacred and secret energy centers in this area that will not be mentioned today. And there are well-known ones such as the Kundalini. Uh, also, of course, the first, second, and third chakras. So um, when we chant, one of the, one of the uh, sound powers, uh, which I'll describe in a moment, it will boost power to that area. The sound power practice we'll be using is called Hei, Hung, Hong, Ha. And we will be chanting that along with the other three powers to uh, build and boost this area and clear the blockages. So I want to offer a very small teaching uh, that, again, I will expand upon if you take my full course. But what happens with the, the nature of uh, negative services and positive services, when we do negative services, offering wrong thoughts or interactions to others, where do they go? Do they just hang out there in the ethers? No, of course not. They land on your Akashic record. And then they filter down to you in the physical world. And landing on your Akashic record, they literally are a mirror on your soul. So your soul literally has all these uh, uh, beautiful flowers on it, which represent your positive virtue. And your soul also has these dark dots on it. The dark dots accumulate at the areas where you're suffering. If you have heart blockages, relationship blockages, they're in your heart center. The, the dark blotches might accumulate on your head or your skull, your brain, if you have difficulty with um, thinking, clarity, uh, brain-related problems, etc., and so forth. So this is the way uh, negative services work. They are registered on your Akashic record. They stay with your soul like an electric. They also come to sit in your energetic body. So your chakras can carry quite a bit of energetic blockages, quite a bit of negative services blockages. A lot of people don't understand that the chakras you know, have this structure. They think, oh, I'll just wave a crystal over it and everything goes away and I'm good to go. Maybe for a little while, not very long, guys. Spiritual debts just don't disappear because we want them to or because we think they're going to when we do something that simple. They go when we have paid our debts. Uh, so when we do practices, it's important to do them consistently because what in essence you're doing is you are bringing in light. You're bringing in light from heaven, Tao, source. You're bringing in light from Mother Earth. We are connecting the channel that is always present to us but we are connecting it in a very, very powerful way. So in moving into that channel of light and doing these practices consistently, what occurs? Heaven's virtue, heaven's positive frequencies and energies come in, they literally melt and uh, uh, dissolve the negative blockages. Literally, it's clearing your karma by doing these practices because uh, you are inviting in heavenly frequencies and doing uh, high um, practices. Of course, when we do the four powers, we always incorporate a forgiveness practice, which assists those um, negative debts to release. Very important. And so as you do this on a consistent basis, what in essence you are doing for yourself is you're creating an environment in which you no longer need coffee. <laughs> you, can, you don't have to drag yourself out of bed. You'll actually get up with reasonable energy. Uh, the key is, of course, you're doing the practice consistently. All right, let's do this, shall we? So where you're at, sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Welcome also to Nikki Davis Johnson. Welcome, Ari. Welcome, Jana. Facebook has once again forced me that I cannot scroll backwards. I love you, Facebook, for letting me to live stream for free. I am not happy at all that you do not allow me to scroll backwards. So if, if I have not mentioned your name, it's because it has not allowed me to. Um, welcome, Elaine Arnault. Welcome, Raul. Welcome, LaRonda. 
<clears throat> welcome also to Ju Judy Ryan Watkins and Liliana Barantes. Welcome, Yvonne. I haven't seen you here in a while, Yvonne. Good to see you. Welcome, Wendy Ponce and Paul. And welcome, Megan Barna. Welcome, Crystal. Also, welcome, Nina. Shirley Schuster, aloha. Welcome, Ali. Welcome, Lisa, Lisa Bella Vance. And welcome, Kathy Arnold. So, <clears throat> sit up straight and back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> For body power. What we're going to do is we're going to place one hand over the other, like this. Very, very relaxed. Do not push against the other. Always leave space. One of the keys of a spiritual practice is leaving space. You block the space, you block the flow of energy. We're going to uh, bring it down to where your knuckle rests in your belly button. Very gentle, very relaxed. Both palms there. Okay? Create a visualization, mind power. You're going to visualize... That as we chant hey hung hong ha, hey first chakra, hung second chakra, hong third chakra, ha is the sound power for the jong. This is your sound power. So you're going to visualize the entire lower part of your body, the back half of your body, seeing flashes of light and frequency come in. Hey hung hong ha, right? Visualize the whole area getting a huge boost. Master Shah created an extraordinary calligraphy for this. I will invoke that calligraphy and ask all the blessings placed in it to subdivide and come to each of us to service in this practice. You may do the same anytime. <clears throat> the calligraphy has come to humanity to serve. Uh, you can call its soul. Everything has a soul. I, the book is in the other room. I'm going to connect to the soul of that specific calligraphy, a hung hung ha, and the countless blessings placed in it, and ask it to service. You can do the same. So with your eyes closed, as we chant, you visualize the chakras. Hey, hung, hong, one, two, third chakra, ha, the whole jong bursts with light. Okay, so that's your visualization. We're gonna bring in the power. So we're going to start. Go ahead and move your hand position just for a moment back to the soul light, soul era hand position because we need to do our, our uh, connection and forgiveness practice first. And then we'll bring it back to our lower abdomen. <clears throat> so please, if it is comfortable, repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, I am deeply honored to be here today to receive this guidance, wisdom, and practices. I ask forgiveness to all souls in all time, if I have offered any wrong or unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions that has caused others to lose their health, lose their vibrational energy, if I have offered unpleasant negative thoughts, words, or actions that has brought me spiritual debts that have encumbered my energy, that have caused me to have low, insufficient energy. I most humbly and sincerely apologize to all of these souls that I have ever offered this unpleasant service to. I know that to ask for forgiveness is not enough. I know that I must serve, that to serve is to make others happier and healthier. I will continue to do better. I am very grateful to receive your unconditional forgiveness. I also wish to offer all souls who have ever offered wrong thoughts, words, or actions to me, if they have caused me to have low energy, especially in my first, second, and third chakra, and in my jump, I offer you all my unconditional forgiveness and release you all of your spiritual debts to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome Linda, welcome Sarah, welcome Heather. <clears throat> so let us uh, bring our palms back down, one over the other, over the lower abdomen, to visualize the first, second, third chakra as we chant, hey, hung, hong, and then when we say ha, visualize the entire lower abdomen Splash with light, okay? Remember that heaven is here, divine Tao source is here, countless beings of light are here, they are serving us. Let me also invoke the calligraphy. 
You're the soul of the Hei Tang Tong Ha calligraphy and Master Shah Sohani Miracles book. The countless layers of beings, light, treasures, and more transmitted to that calligraphy. We love you, Ani, and respect you. We ask you to please come at this time to subdivide your soul, to bless each and every one of those watching and listening live or on podcasts. Please bless us to release our energetic blockages. Please bless us each to have more energy. For those that just tuned in, please do an energy check. <clears throat> 10 is when you're bouncing off the walls. Zero is when you can't move. Where is your body energy now? <clears throat> We're going to check after. <clears throat> Visualize, let us begin. Hey, hum, hum, ha. 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 <clears throat> when I say hey, see the first chakra light up and so forth. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum, hum. Ha, hey, hum, hum, ha, hey, hum, hum, ha, hey, hum, hum, ha, hey, hum, hum, ha. When you say ha, see the whole lower abdomen light up, push, pushing out any darkness, any blockages. Hey, hum, hum, ha, hey, hum. Hong ha hey hong hong ha hey hong hong ha <coughs> little faster hey hong hong ha 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 Hey, hum, hum, ha. 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 Now silently, silently chant, visualizing. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum, hum, ha. Hey, hum. See the light running in a circle. First soul house, second soul house, third soul house, jong. First soul house, second soul house, third soul house, jong. <clears throat> Visualize the light running in a circle while bursting in each soul house silently. Hey, hum, hum, ha. 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 Now I want you to visualize the ha in your kundalini area. Your kundalini area. If you draw an invisible line,
from your belly button, <clears throat> go back two-thirds of the way to your back, not all the way, two-thirds of the way, drop down about two and a half inches. Visualize that area is where the ha blows up and expands, clears the blockages. Let us continue. Hey, hum, hom, ha. Hey, hum, hom, ha. Hey, hum, hom, ha. Hey, hum, hom, ha. <coughs> First soul house, second soul house, third soul house, Kundalini. Hey, hum, hom, ha. 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 Chant quickly. If you cannot chant quickly out loud, chant quickly silently. Hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung ha, hey hung hung, hey hung hung ha. See the light radiating in a circle, making this huge light in your entire lower abdomen. Your kidneys are getting blessed. Your intestines are getting blessed. Your uh, liver is getting blessed. Your pancreas is getting blessed. Your gallbladder is getting blessed. Your urinary bladder is getting blessed. Your your immune system is getting blessed. Your 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 uh, all your organs and systems in your lower body are clearing blockages. Hey, I'm hunga. 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 Hey, home. Home, ha, hey, home, ha. You ever see the nuclear blast, right? It blasts and then it shoots outward like a universe. Push, hey, home, home, ha, hey, home. Ho, ha, hey, ho, ho, ha, hey, ho, ho, ha. And now we will do yin chanting. Yin chanting is vibrating the smaller cells vibrating the smaller spaces chant with me hey hung home ha hey hung home ha hey hung home ha hey hung home ha hey hung home Heaven's nectar is coming through your crown chakra and it is filling the smallest spaces between your energy and matter. The spaces that have been freed up by the yang chanting it is nourishing, radiating the incredible, bright, healing 
rejuvenating light of heaven, clearing the smallest energy and matter blockages, the stuff related to emotions, the stuff related to fears and worries, clearing the blockages, the stuff related to misuse of our body, clearing the blockages of the stuff related to addictions, clearing the blockages of our self-worth issues. See heaven's nectar circling and clearing these blockages. Chant with me, silently or out loud. Hey, hum, ho, ha. 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 Hey, hum, ho, discomfort, how it has calmed down. Check how your mind is. Is it released, but is it also vibrating? When you're ready, open your eyes. Notice the brightness. Notice the vibration. Where is the vibration at in your body? Please share. Welcome also to Melian Holmes. Welcome to uh, Jeff. Good to see you there. So I look forward to your sharing. I will read them. How do you feel now? What is your energy levels now in comparison to what they were before? And give us a before and after. Before I was this, now I am this. This practice we did for approximately eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Um, yeah, we did actually a little bit longer, about 12 minutes. And this is a very, very important practice because it's a lot more than just boosting your energy. Why does your energy boost as a natural side effect of this? You are clearing the blockages in between the matter. Energy runs between your matter. Your cells bounce off of each other, okay? Inside your cells is matter. And our karmic blockages, our negative uh, debts, get lodged. They are energetic blockages. And so they get lodged in, this, in between the energy and matter in the cells and in between the cells themselves. And in between the spaces of the organs and the systems. They get lodged in our chakras. They get lodged in our channels and energy systems. And so um, when we do these practices and we incorporate all four powers, including the soul power, that is when we can start to see some significant shift. One of the keys is consistency, okay? It's always a key. And so uh, Rose uh, Hosanna Erin Jensen says hi. Her feet are vibrating, wonderful, beautiful sign. That means that all the activity in the lower part of your body started moving the blockages that were running down your legs to your feet. 
and clearing any chi blockages that are also allowing Mother Earth frequencies to come through, which of course will keep you grounded. These are very grounding exercises as well. So a very good sign. Uh, some people do have blockages in their feet. They don't have circulation. And it is said, and don't take this the wrong way, but it's an ancient Chinese thing that uh, death occurs from the feet up. And so uh, we want to make sure we're always connected to Mother Earth and having um, a lot of good chi down there. So doing these practices will absolutely help. Katie Nada says, uh, before I was very tired, now I'm up and cleaning her room. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Um, so Jeff says, Aloha Master Paul, great to see you here, Jeff. Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome to Heather McNee. Also, Ramanda sa uh, LaRonda says, Thank you. Have to go back and we'll listen again. And he says, Pins and needles in the feet. Actually, laugh out loud. Very interesting. Okay, a lot of feet activity today. Vanessa says, uh, almost a cooling sensation in her lower abdomen, a calming and more focused energy for sure. Yeah. These practices, um, so some of you are new and some of you have not received my calling yet, so I will state it at this time. I'm doing a 12-week uh, Awakened Spiritual Channels course starting September 3rd. It includes five major energy centers, the seven chakras, and two of the energy the energy and matter channel, all of which are directly associated to awakening our spiritual channels. The natural side effect of awakening our spiritual channels is that you may be able to pop open your third eye. You uh, should definitely be able to hear your soul and the heavenly beings more. But there are other very positive side effects, which include increased energy, increased uh, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Also, you will um, have better mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs going through the days. Your overall blockages in your life will diminish substantially. Um, not, of course, entirely go away, but they will, they will definitely start to diminish, and you will look at things quite a bit differently. One of the reasons why is because the, the way spiritual blockages work is they, they, they bog down our thinking process, they bog down our manifestation process, they bog down our health, which impact us negatively with our mindsets, attitudes, and belief, which also impacts the way we communicate to others and the way we can generate money for ourselves, the way we can generate positive relationships. Everything starts with negative spiritual deaths or positive virtue. So these 12 weeks, we'll be focusing on clearing as many of those as possible and awakening you to your higher soul calling, which will allow you to move forward in life the way your soul intended it to. So I encourage you to click on the link that Kristen posts in her timeline in her chat uh, and learn more about it if you're not already familiar with it. It starts September 3rd, which is uh, about uh, 13 or so days from now. And it is recorded, so if you can't make it live each time, uh, you can certainly uh, watch the recording. And I, I will be doing a midweek uh, chanting practice as well. So you'll have to do your own practice, but we'll do it uh, two times during the week, including the actual session and uh, uh, midweek chanting. So let's see who else commented. Um, Jessica says uh, her sacrum feels tingly and behind her eyes. Wonderful. Very good uh, uh, awareness. The sacrum is the first energy center point. And for everybody to remember, it's that big wheel. It's the start that moves the other cogs. The other, what are the other cogs? The other six chakras. You move the first one, the others connect in and start moving the whole machine, uh, which is probably why she's noticed some vibration behind her eyes. Um, so Lisa Carter, vibration in her hands. Uh, Nikki says she felt warmer. And uh, thank you, Kristen, for posting the link in your, uh, in your chat box <coughs> to my event. Uh, Julia says, feel cool white light in the low part of her body, especially around the Kundalini area and then later uh, warm golden energy, wonderful. Aloha Dana Nat. Um, Julia says yawning and releasing, <laughs> okay. And so LaRonda, no need to send it to you, just look at Kristen Rojas uh, chats and you'll see it in there. It's got a picture of, uh, of the human body with energy coming in. So um, I hope this energy practice served you today. Uh, Facebook is cutting off the live streams now at the hour, so I only have a few more minutes left. 
Um, these practices, as I said, need to be done on a consistent basis for you to get the best benefits from them. So if you can, uh, uh, choose one or more practices. Now I know that I will tell you, you know, almost every time I see you, do this often. You will learn to be smart about combining your practices. I've said to you that you need to do forgiveness practice every day. Why not combine your forgiveness and doing this practice and part of your morning waking up, right? Maybe you're gonna do your meditation and so you need to position yourself to be clear so that you can have a nice meditation. You wake up, you do your forgiveness, you do your hey, hung, hung, ha, then meditate. If that gives you too much energy and you can't keep your mind quiet, then do something else like just focusing only on the jong while you're in meditation. And then after you come out of your meditation, do this to wake up. These are examples of how you can combine them, okay? Uh, almost everything that I do, you can do, you don't have to, you don't have to close your eyes. It helps you to focus a lot if you do. Um, but uh, you can, for example, when you're driving, you know, sometimes we're nodding off. Dear the soul, uh, my first, second, third chakra and my kundalini point, my entire lower part of my body, as I chant, boost and build yourself, okay? What if you don't remember? Hey, hung, hung, ha. Just remember ha, like ha, ha. Just go ha, 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 ha. ha. You'll make fun of it while you're driving. Ha, ha, ha. You'll be surprised, you know, in your mind's eye, see light boosting in the area. You do that five minutes, you'll definitely be away, okay? So these you can do anywhere, anytime. You don't have to be in a meditative place to do them. Uh, we just happen to have those conditions here, so that's why we do it that way, to incorporate all of the powers. Um, welcome also to Dove. Thanks for joining. Thanks for your comments. Welcome, uh, Rashmi, as well. Welcome, Pat. So I wish to thank you all for coming. I encourage you to take advantage of the, um, the Awakened Spiritual Channels program. Um, if you want to attend, but you have very, very, very restrictive financial conditions, only for those who have very, very, very restrictive financial conditions, if you can find somebody who can honor the normal full honor fee, then uh, you get a very substantial discount. Because I don't want anybody to not receive the benefits, but they really have to earn it. So don't just ask for that just because you want to save money. That's not the way it works. But if you can serve another soul and they can honor for it in full, and you are in a, a strict financial condition, but you truly want to come, then that's how you can accomplish that, okay? Um, so uh, you can Facebook message me if you have any questions. So let's offer our gratitude to all the beings of light who came today, divine down source, uh, the soul of the calligraphy, hey, hong, hong, ha, uh, all uh, of the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascending masters, our heavens teams, we thank you, we love you, we honor you. We ask all these souls to respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.